what is up youtube fam and welcome back to my channel my name is gabrielle also known as gabby and i am back with another video for you guys today i'm gonna be filming one of my favorite videos which is my monthly budget setup i love to do this i love a fresh start guys and march is going to be amazing i can feel it we are in this budgeting community like gearing up for a big march madness savings challenge please stay tuned i'm gonna fill you guys in on all the details at the end of the video but for now guys let's go ahead and get into this march budget so for anyone new i am a sticker budgeter i use a budget planner for my budget and i also track my expenses on my digital right now we're working on debt payoff as well as saving extra funds towards our um, emergency fund so if you're into all that go ahead and hit that subscribe button you already know what to do so guys i like to come into my monthly view on my in my planner and set this up i have a beautiful sticker kit this month um from caffeinated kate i will have that link in the description box down below for anyone new i lay down my paydays i lay down my bills that are due and i check them off as the month goes i already did all this and set all this up because you know it's kind of redundant so i just want you guys to know if you want to see like any more detailed you can go back to some of my older videos and take a take a look at those but this is all set up here on this monthly view i also like to put anything in the month going on like um that has to do with money i am budgeting for a family of five for anyone who doesn't know that so um we need to get our taxes filed we do have two birthdays this month my daughter is turning 13 which is a big one so i'm excited about that but she's like low-key she's that low-key kid she doesn't really want anything too extravagant but i think she wants a laptop she has some money saved <laughs> because she does that she does have her money saved from christmas because she wanted like a macbook and i was like girl <laughs> okay now i'm rambling okay so that um and my sister-in-law's birthday also and then we have we may have family visiting so you know how that is if family visits i'm probably going to ultimately end up spending more money so that is pretty much all that i have going on for month for money this month i'm hoping that we get that refund this month and um yeah cash definitely for that one coming soon <laughs> <laughs> so my goals this month i also like to put this here just because i come into this often throughout the month during my weekly check-ins and i have to look at these goals so our first goal is to stay under our food budget that is our rolling goal because we struggle with that <laughs> we'll see how the month goes i am implementing a new goal guys and i'm gonna track this on my monthly view this month i want to do a no spend challenge so that i can save towards my march madness savings challenge so <laughs> that is that so i am trying to do a no some no spends now i'm not gonna say i'm like not spending the whole month but i want to have at least 15 no spend days this month so you guys hold me accountable on that one um, also, I wanted to meal plan for at least three weeks this month. Um, I was going to say like the whole month, but I just want to be realistic. So at least three times. And my last goal is with my full amounts to debt and savings. And we've been done that the past two months. Guys, I've been doing great on my budget. I'm super excited to get this debt paid off and my savings goal reached. So, so I'm super excited. Okay, so that is pretty much it that I have on my my March monthly view. Let's turn on over to our other spread. So I just want to show you my other spreads real quick before we get in dive into our March budget. Um, this is my weekly check-in spread where I come in each week and check in on those categories that I tend to overspend on, just seeing where we are on the amounts, how much we spent throughout the month, which is this is this is great for keeping you on track with your budget. Um, this is my March budget spread. Um we're going to talk about that. And here I like to keep my trackers. This is my debt tracker where I track all of my debt. We're, we currently have two student, not two student loans. We have two car notes and we have one student loan. So two car loans, one, one student loan, and we're paying off our student loan right now, focusing on that's where our debt snowball is targeted towards. We have a savings tracker this year. I have a savings challenge and I am focusing on that. So I'm tracking my savings there. And then for sinking funds, um, that is those, you know, sinking funds categories that I have. And this is a transaction log. And that is pretty much it for my, my trackers. Here I lay down each paycheck. I do paycheck breakouts here. So we get paid four times. So that is that. I haven't laid those stickers down yet. So let's go ahead and turn back on over to our March budget. Get, get into it and see what we have coming in, what we have going out, what we plan to have coming out. Okay, so for combined salaries, me and my husband plan to bring in this month 
$721. That This is our take-home pay as well as um, some, some things have came out. This is not our full income, but this is what we're budgeting with. We like to do zero-based budget where we spend every single dollar out. So I want to start with our fixes, but our um, fix, some of our fixed expenses is HOA, which is our homeowner's insurance. We do have a mortgage, guys. I just don't share that here. So $83 is going to be our HOA. Um, for electric, we budget $200 for electric every month. And it's really ticking up there, guys. I guess it's been, it's been kind of cold. So I think our bill last month was $179. So it was really close to $200. So I think $200 is a safe amount. Water, guys, is 120 And basically, we pay water each month. And I could put slash sewer because sewer is there too. Um, this is water and sewer. Um, we pay our sewer quarterly and we pay our water every month. So I just put $60 aside for each of those. And 60, it's basically like a sinking fund, but I just keep it into my bank account. Phone bill is going to be 210 and that is all of our lines, me, my um, daughter, and my oldest daughter, and my husband. And cable and internet is going to be 175 Guys, I want, I really want to look into this because I feel like we have so many streaming services. This is just a way like to cut back. Like I, I find myself not cutting back on certain things like cable and a phone bill that are kind of high to me because it's not that huge, much of a percentage of the total income. So I don't feel like it'll make that much of an impact, but you know, small leaks sink a ship. So, hey, I probably should pay attention to those. So car insurance is gonna be 120. That's a great rate. Um, security is gonna come out at $50. And then life insurance is gonna be 150. So subscriptions is gonna be $80. Child care, guys, is a, is a is a thing. It's a thing now. It's a thing. We are paying child care, and that's going to be five hundred for the month. Good thing is I can take my daughter when I feel like it. I don't have to take her every single day, um, and we just pay per day, which is awesome. So car, um, our car loan number one is going to be four hundred and forty. No, four hundred and fifty one dollars is for our first car. And car loan number two is going to be $440. These are our debts we're getting into now. And then our student loan is $545, which, you know, we really don't have a student loan payment right now, but we're paying anyway. So all of this totals up to a um, total amount of $3,124 total. So those are all our fixed expenses. Now to get to our variable spending, we have about $3,597 left to spend on variables, variable stuff. That's how I like to do. I take all of my bills first, then um, whatever is left over, I go to my variable expenses. Well, for groceries, guys, we do have a little change. I normally budget $800. I'm cutting it back this month by $20. So instead of $800, we're getting $780. So we're going to see how that goes for the month because we did good last month. We had my money left over and I want to make sure we do the same thing this month. So we'll see. Um, eating out, guys. Um, I'm cutting that back by $20 too. I normally put um, $400, but this month I'm going to put $380. And that's just for us to eat out. And we, we like to eat out. Um, personal spending, guys, we're going to get $300 which we did good last month with like $297. We're going to see how we do this month. Beauty, guys, we're going to get $120. And those are for girls' hair, my hair, um, my nails. Um, kind of low this month. I don't think we have anything going on, so I can do my own girls' hair. But if we're doing something fancy, I like to get their hair done. Sinking funds is going to be $380 this month. And I'm excited to stuff those with you guys. Um, investing is going to get $100 this month. And we really need to work on investing a little bit more. But right now, $100 is what we're doing. Gas is going to be $120 for the month. And I'm actually lowering this a little bit. It was one, it's normally $150 or $200, but we really haven't been driving as much. So I just did $120. We'll see how that goes as well. Next, we have our snowball, which I wrote in. And I normally, when I do my rough budget, I take out my snowball and my savings 
challenge and then see what else we have. And we have to divvy it up amongst the rest of the categories. So for our snowball, we have a thousand dollar snowball. And then for our savings challenge, we have $417. And then I wrote a list for unbudgeted and we're gonna put zero for unbudgeted. So all of this budget comes out to $3,597. So combine these two come out to our total amount of $6,721. So this is how I set up my budget, guys. I do break everything out each paycheck, you know, and go for it. But you'll see that throughout the month. But this is my March budget that we have um, ready to get started. I'm ready for a new month. So guys, let's go ahead and get into the exciting part, which is March, 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 March Madness budget edition. So I'm going to throw this out of the way guys and chat with you guys about our March Madness rules, regulations, and all of that. So we, in the budgeting community, it's been how many of us um, right now? I think it's 80 plus 80 plus budgeting channels in the YouTube community. We have gathered together to do a March Madness budget edition and anybody can participate. If you're a budgeting channel, you can participate. We have a free downloadable PDF file where you can print this envelope out. And I will link that in the description. It's on Rochelle Adamson website, her website, and then I think Wanderlusting Diva, she is the one who designed this for us and shout out to her and shout out to Cassie J Budgets as well. Um, I will link her channel in my description. Also, she came up with this idea of uh, like a game night and then Prosperously Pink came out with the March Madness theme for March. And guys, we were chatting about this in a personal chat and we did, had no idea that it was gonna blow up this big and everybody would wanna participate, but I'm just so happy that we are all in this together. So let's get into the details. So March Madness Queens is what we're calling ourselves. We are doing a challenge each week in March. So first thing you wanna do is you want to choose what your savings will go towards, whether it's debt, um, savings, emergency fund, you want to go on a luxury cruise, whatever it is, go ahead and pick out what you're going to put your savings to. Me, I'm still undecided, guys. I'm still waiting on mine. Next, every Saturday, look at look at what you have left over from your budget or if you want to put it into your, um, as a line item in your budget, you want to, you have money left over in a paycheck. However, if you have $2 every Saturday, choose that amount left over, throw it in this March Madness envelope, I say don't look at it. <laughs> I say don't look at the amount. Just every week, just throw it in there. You'll see how much it is, but just don't calculate it. Because at the end of the month, which is the last step, at the end of the month, everyone will post their video for the challenge and see how much we save. We're also going to be tallying up how much money we all save combined. Anybody who wants to participate, you, have, you can hit me up and I'm going to be um, having a running list of how much we're saving to see how much everyone saves at the end of the month. I'm I'm super excited. This is like so fun. It's so fun. We are also doing some giveaways. There are going to be some amazing giveaways. So stay tuned for that as well. But I'm super excited about March Madness, guys. If you haven't gotten into it already, you need to go ahead and get into it. So I think that I covered everything. We are getting ready. We're geared up. I'm super excited. I hope you guys enjoy this. Like I said, anybody can participate. If you have a budgeting YouTube channel, you can get added to the list. If you don't have a YouTube or anything, download the envelope and just follow along with us. We are trying to get everybody geared up to save and see how much we can save and see how much, you know, pool we have. So go ahead and do that for me. I hope everybody enjoyed this video, my March budget and my March madness. Let's get ready to go, guys. I will see you guys on my next video. Bye, guys.